talk about racism in the Latina community. Spoilers if you haven't seen Across the Spider-Verse. Miles mother gave him a very moving pep talk about how he belongs in most spaces, in all spaces. And obviously you're interpreting that as she's thinking he's going to go to Princeton and you know, these white people are not going to be, you know, welcoming. Surprise, surprise, like normal, it was a non-black Latin man being the most racist. It's so heartbreaking yet not surprising that the first person to say, you don't belong here, Mal was another Latin man, a biracial Latin man. If he cared about balance so much, why didn't he create a Spider-Man in Universe 42? Joe went out of his way to make sure that Miles was uncomfortable the entire time, even not responding to him in Spanish. Just like that non-black Latin people love to do to black people to let them know like you are not Spanish like me because you don't look the way that I want you to look. I'm sorry, I'm not arguing with you about how racist this man is if you're not an Afro-Latino who's brown skin. Our experience is unique in that we have to prove to the world and our own people that we belong. Dell is truly one of the only Spider-Man that don't belong and he had the nerve to put the heat on Miles. It was comically easy for him to turn his white friends against this black man because he knew he would be deemed more trustworthy. 